The Pixel Fantasy Character Generator is now available to be downloaded as a standalone desktop program. The generated assets can be used in any engine or for any purpose. The sprite sheets will work natively with Visustella's VS8 sprites for RPG Maker MZ, which allow for 8-directional movement, running, lifting poses, climbing, and more. To begin adding custom parts to the Pixel Fantasy Character Generator, firstly unzip the folder downloaded from the official itch.io page. All of the generator's part files can be found in the Pixel Fantasy Character Generator slash image slash pictures folder. This folder contains two subfolders, bust and sprite. These contain the part files for generating the bust art and character sprite sheet respectively. One of the subfolders in the pictures folder is called bust. This is where to find all pictures used to generate the bust art in the generator. There are subfolders in bust which are structured like this. Each part that can be modified has its own subfolder within the bust folder. Some of these folders also have more subfolders to separate certain parts to be body specific. The selected body will determine which versions of certain parts are used by changing which folder the images are being used from. The body file should be named pf underscore x, with the x being the next number in the sequence after the previous file. There is no limit to how many files can be added, but they must follow this naming convention with the numbers in sequence for the generator to detect them. The same convention is used for the head, ears, and nose files. None of these are body specific, so it won't matter which body is selected. They will all share the same art for the parts. When adjusting the color tint of these parts, they will all share the same color. Some parts of other facial features will be affected by this color too. The mouth parts come in three different files. PF underscore X underscore one is used for the base. This will be adjusted with the color of the skin set by tinting the body part. PF underscore X underscore two is used for the teeth. This part will not be recolored by the generator, so it can be used for anything that needs to maintain the file's original colors. PF underscore X underscore three is used for the lips. This part can be recolored separately in the generator by using the tint window. Not every type of mouth will make use of all three of these files, but they still need to have a file available for the generator to display. If the part does not require teeth or lips, the image can simply be left blank, as long as the file still exists in the folder. Like the mouth files, the eye part comes in three different files. PF underscore X underscore one is used for the base. This will be adjusted with the color of the skin set by tinting the body part. PF underscore X underscore two is used for the sclera, lashes, and pupil. This part can be recolored in the generator independently from the others. PF underscore X underscore three is used for the iris. This part can also be recolored independently. Similar to the mouth files, not every type of eye will make use of all three of these files, but they still need to have a file available for the generator to display. The eyebrow and facial hair files follow the same file structure and aren't body specific. The same file will be used regardless of which body has been selected. PF underscore X underscore one is used as a shadow for the skin. When using the generator's tint windows, this file will be recolored alongside the selected body color. PF underscore X underscore two is the main file for the eyebrow or facial hair part. This file can be independently recolored using the part's tint window. Even if both of these files are not necessary for a custom part, the file should still be present, but they can be left blank. Front hair files should be named PF underscore X, with the X being the next number in the sequence after the previous file. The front hair is not body specific, so the same image will be used regardless of which body has been selected. For the best results when recoloring these parts using the generator's tint window, the file should make use of a neutral gray or white color. The rear hair folder uses body specific subfolders called body one and body two. This means the images being used are different depending on which body is selected. Each rear hair part is composed of two images, one that appears on a layer behind the body and another layer that appears over the face. PF underscore X underscore one is the image that appears on the layer behind the body. Even if a new custom part does not require this image, the file should still be present and can be left blank. PF underscore X underscore two is the image that appears over the top of the head, showing the main bulk of the hair. Subsequent files in the folder should be named with the next number in the sequence in order to be detected by the generator. Top one and top two both have subfolders for each body type that can be selected. By default, body one and body two are the subfolders for this part. Top one and top two files should be named PF underscore X, with the X being the next number in the sequence after the previous file. Top one appears on the layer underneath top two in the generator. Accessory one and accessory two both make use of any files in the bust slash accessory folder. The bust slash accessory folder uses the body specific subfolders. Accessory files should be named PF underscore X, with the X being the next number in the sequence. One of the subfolders in the pictures folder is called Sprite. 
This is where to find all pictures used to generate the character sprite art in the generator. Inside of the sprite folder, there are subfolders called sprite page. These will contain all of the parts for each different page of the character sheet, with varying poses and animations. Inside that folder, there are more subfolders which are structured like this. Each part that can be modified has its own subfolder within that folder. Some of these folders also have more subfolders to separate certain parts to be body specific. The sprite pages have yet to be fully implemented into the generator, but inside of the main sprite folder, there are subfolders called sprite page 1 and sprite page 2, etc. The subfolders inside of these folders are structured the same with images for each part, but the difference is that the images are formatted for different pose sheets. The generator user can press a button to swap between these different sheets featuring different poses. The images for the parts will need to be put into their relevant subfolder. The body folder does not have any subfolders. The selected body will determine which versions of certain parts are used by changing which folder the images are being used from. The body file should be named pf underscore x, with the x being the next number in the sequence after the previous file. There is no limit to how many files can be added, but they must follow this naming convention, with the numbers in sequence for the generator to detect them. This base image does not need to feature things like eyes, which are added and coloured separately. Underneath the main body sprite, there is a layer that is used to display a shadow beneath the character's feet, like this. This layer is body specific, so it will appear in a subfolder like body1 or body2. The shadow cannot be changed by the user, it is always tied to whatever body has been selected, so it should always be named pf underscore 1 inside of the relevant subfolder. The eyes folder uses body specific subfolders called body1 and body2. This means the images being used are different depending on which body is selected. Eyes sprites are separated into two image files. pf underscore x underscore 1 is for the lashes, sclera, and pupil. pf underscore x underscore 2 is for the iris. These can be coloured independently of each other in the generator. Not every type of eye will make use of both of these files, but they still need to have a file available for the generator to display, even if it's left blank. The facial hair folder uses the body specific subfolders. Facial hair files should be named pf underscore x, with the x being the next number in the sequence after the previous file. Some types of facial hair may not be considered visible enough to display a sprite on the character, so they can be left blank. They still need to have a file available for the generator to display, however, even if the file is empty. The front hair folder uses the body specific subfolders. Front hair files should be named pf underscore x, with the x being the next number. The rear hair folder uses the body specific subfolders. Rear hair sprites are separated into two image files. pf underscore x underscore 1 contains the main image for the hair. PF underscore X underscore 2 is placed on a layer over the top of clothing and accessories to display the hair over the top on certain frames, mainly when the character is facing upwards. Not every type of rear hair will make use of both of these files, but they still need to have a file available for the generator to display, even if it's left blank. The top 1 and top 2 folders use the body specific subfolders. Top 1 and top 2 files should be named PF underscore X, with the X being the next number. The bottom shoes and accessory folders use the body specific subfolders called body1 and body2. Bottom shoes and accessory files should be named pf underscore x, with the x being the next number in the sequence after the previous file. Accessory1 and accessory2 in the engine both make use of any files in the accessory folder. If added correctly, the new images will be automatically detected by the generator and will appear when clicking left and right on each part. Thanks for watching.